Inside Herb Brooks Arena here in Lake Placid, a look at how things stand right now. Jin Boy Young, I think he is going to make it to the Grand Prix Final. If you're a Jason Brown fan, the American, he's not necessarily out yet. Still depends on what some names do still to come. Sergey Voronov, one of them. But Sergey Voronov Take just has to be top four. China. Let's welcome Han Young. The announcement for the 21-year-old from Harbin, China, and the world junior champ back in 2012. He was doing great things through that time, all the way through 2015, but just a disastrous showing at the world championships in 2016, then a shoulder injury in 2017. He's trying to get back to that shape. He's definitely had ups and downs over the years. His jumps are a bit of a question mark. But when he's on, he's really on. In fourth after the short. One of his better elements is the triple axel. They were just soaring in practice. One of the best. Right here, we'll see another one. Stepped out of that, that will affect the grade of execution. He gets such great height, but also distance. Can be very distracting when you get off the warm up and your program changes when there's a skater that withdraws before you or it takes too long here, the quad toe. Beautiful into a double toe. Got the nerves out of the way on that opening triple axel. out on the second triple axel there. I mean, he is such a good technician. He has a great foundation. He has strong skating skills. He's a performer. He has what it takes, but he's never really pushed through to make it to that top level. modern jazzy feel I think it fits his style he has a very unique relaxed cool swagger swagger Johnny leaning very far forward on the takeoff of that triple Lutz
get to this point in the season, kind of gauge where you're at, think about the national championships coming up. How much is your mind race when you're not getting it done and it's an Olympic season? Feel frantic. You have to do it. This is the time. You have, you have no more practice time. You have no more one more year. It's here, 2018. Because you take a skater like Yan Han and you go back a few years, he was the first man from China to win the World Junior Championship. He was the man. He was the future. And you stumble a little bit. You have an injury, and all of a sudden, Jin Boyang comes along, and you're no longer that name. I remember a few years ago, Yin Han wrote me after a disastrous world championship where he didn't even qualify for the free program, saying, I'm afraid that China, the Chinese Federation won't let me compete anymore. They'll make me resign and, and stop skating. And that's so sad for a skater that's so gifted, and he's definitely on that comeback trail. Check the numbers for Yen Han when we continue. And still to come, it is a man who's won the U.S. championship. And he's right on the verge now. Second place, Adam Rippon. Rafael Aratunian also coaching Nathan Chan. Some last-minute preparations. Back with a look and the kiss and cry. Yen Han waiting with a major name from China for the numbers right now. Yeah, Zhao Hongbo, a major, major figure in Chinese figure skating now, taking on the role of sort of Papa China over the whole team, teaching many of the pair teams sitting with Yin Han here. Shen and Zhao, one of the great teams and pairs through the years. Take a look at some of the highlights here from the program. Here's that triple axel. He has a great arm swing right up, steps into the air. Look at the height. Over-rotated his landing a little bit. Couldn't check out. Very hard to control a triple axel that goes off of a straight edge takeoff. He doesn't skid like many of the skaters do. This, the quad toe. He did get this done. Not the best grade of execution, not the best quality into double toe, but, you know, in a That's program. a very nice element. Overall, every other jump was labored, messy landings. It's just a shame. I love his style of skating. Yeah, he's so elegant elegant and interesting and different. Had a problem with the date a few minutes ago. Somebody plugged the machine back in and I think it's up and running. Had to input all the scores from the judges back into the computer, but I, I believe... They wrote them down. No, they didn't. They don't do that anymore. <laughs> Ask Siri. It's not by hand. We count on your fingers now the, the number of jumps. We get a... a little inside look at what the judges are thinking too we have a little screen that continues to update we have a little score tracker so that we can see what's going on versus the current leader if see elements are under review and footwork sequences yes and then it all changes at the end and none of it means anything right <laughs> you know he's Think about what he just did. You mentioned the adjustment when you're not ready to go out there and skate, and all of a sudden the skater ahead of you gets injured and you're called out there to warm up. You ever experienced anything like that? Certainly. At my second Olympic Games in Vancouver, the skater just before me, Nobunari Oda, his lace broke halfway through his program. The time that I was waiting backstage was much longer. It was thrown all off because you time it you time it down to how long you can keep your skates off, how long you can rest, and it completely can throw you off. And now with this this um, tech problem, Sergei Voronov is waiting longer than usual to get to get to it. A bit longer to me is easier than having to go out before planned. Because before is you definitely feel okay. Yeah, <laughs> but this is also awkward skating right up there with all the nerves of the world riding on your shoulder. A trip to the Grand Prix final in a season when nobody expected it from him. You know, it's a lot of nerves. So Sergey. Voronov still out there. He'll be the next one. We're down to the last three, Voronov and the two Americans, Adam Rippon and Nathan Chen. Yeah, everything is timed out, isn't it? You know, you look at the skate order when you find that out, and you've got that warm-up, and then you either know you got to wait until you're the last person out there. And or it's usually the skater before where you really feel like you've peaked at the right moment to go compete. Before that, I always would feel like, okay, I can be nervous. I can keep being nervous, and your stomach's in knots, and you're pacing, and then all of a sudden, when you know one more skater, your, your coach says it to you, huh. then you put on your game face. So you don't want anyone messing up with the timing of Did you want to go late or early in the group? Early. I didn't early. want to early. Wait. early. The free skating score for Han Yang, 142.36. His total score is 220. So you see the number he needed to leave, 160 and change. It's 142.36 and into second place. But a disappointing 
effort. <laughs> Taking it in all right, though. 228.33. Jin Boyong continues to lead, and he is into the final now. We know that.